I'm actually going to end the live stream before <laughs> I do my outro. I don't want to do my outro live, so... Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go live on Facebook via OBS, which is a live broadcasting software in case it isn't obvious. So first things first, you'll need to go to obsproject.com and head on over to the download page and select the appropriate operating system that you have and then select download installer. Once you have that downloaded, you can then open up OBS. Once you have OBS open, you can add different elements to your broadcasting space. So in my instance, I have a display capture of my other screen, which is dark because I'm using QuickTime to record this, which means it makes the screen that I'm recording go bright and the screens that aren't being recorded go dark. I have my audio input set to my microphone right here. And the reason it looks like I'm looking not at you guys is because the screen is over here that I'm recording, sorry. And my video capture device is the webcam on my camera and you can resize these to be whatever size you need. Now, OBS offers other things. I'm trying to look at you guys so this is slightly less awkward. OBS offers other things that you can record. Um, you have your image, you have media source scenes, you can add text, but I typically use video capture and these are basically the ones I mostly use and then I have different scenes set up. So this is my setup. So if I were to be sharing my screen and will also want to have my face be shown while talking to you guys. And if I just want to show just me talking to you guys, I can switch to that. Then you can change the transition so you can have it just cut or you can have it fade, which looks kind of nice in my opinion. And you can change the duration as well. So that is how you use OBS and kind of have that set up. Now to go live on Facebook, you'll need to come into your settings. You'll need to go to stream and stream type service Facebook Live and you'll leave everything as default. Then you'll need to come over to Facebook real quick and then find the go live button. So I went to facebook.com slash live. Give me a second. Facebook.com slash live. I clicked on live map, which I really think the live, the go live button should be on the slash live. I don't know why it's over here, but you can click go live. Then you can select where I can connect. Then I will need the stream key and this is going to be blurred out because reasons. So I'm basically going to copy my stream key over into OBS and then click OK. Then you'll want to click start streaming. It's connecting. It takes a little bit before it to realize. Now because of my internet speeds there is a very strong delay. Okay first I'm going to give it a title and add tags. I, if I was playing a video game I could give the title there but once I have everything set up I'll click go live. Boink. So as you can see I am now live on Facebook. Now it's not going to be good latency because I've done this from home before and it was not very good. So that is how you go live on Facebook. If you're going to do this, I suggest having really good internet <laughs> and also not doing this over Wi-Fi and doing it over a wired connection, which is the exact opposite of what I'm currently doing. Finish. And since I don't want it to be published, I'm going to hit delete video, but if I wanted it on my timeline, I could hit done. So anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give a big thumbs up. You can click around the microphone to subscribe to the respective channels. And you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if this was weird or not. I just figured this is appropriate for the tutorial that it is. <laughs> Bye.